Hi guys, welcome to day one of gift guide week here on my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today I'm starting off a very exciting series and one I've been working extremely hard on for weeks now. Every single day this week I will be sharing a gift guide for you guys. I've got 50 gift ideas for the girl in your life, whether it's your sister, daughter, girlfriend, best friend. I've got you covered. Tomorrow I've got 50 gift ideas for guys and boyfriends. The following day, I will have 25 gift ideas for moms and mother-in-laws. And then the day after that, I will have 25 gift ideas for dads and father-in-laws. So I hope you guys are excited. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new. And along with every single video, I have worked so hard on a corresponding blog post to go with. I will have that blog post linked down below. And in that post, I will have all 50 ideas from today's video listed out. And I will have multiple links to everything. Thing I talk about so that you guys can have some variety and so that shopping is super easy and convenient for you. I've also tried to link options under $25, under $50, under $100. That way, whatever your price range may be, I have got something covered for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Like I said, I've been working very, very hard on it and yeah, let's get right on in. So I would say that this gift guide is probably like teens to mid 20s kind of gift ideas. Although a lot of the things moms might want to, but because this is the girls gift guide, I also have like kind of my Christmas wish list incorporated into this. So I have my computer here, I'm looking off of it. Number one is high top Converse. I never thought I would ever want a pair of Converse ever again, but here I am. I am dying to get a pair of platform Converse, the all white ones. They have about a one and a half inch sole and they're super cute. They're all over TikTok and my Instagram right now. A very good idea for the fashionista in your life. Number two, I have a pair of Nike Air Forces on my list. I don't know why, but I don't have a pair of Nike Air Forces and everyone in college has a pair of Air Force Ones. I swear to God, they are the perfect shoe if you're looking for a shoe that can be worn out and that can be worn to class as well. They really do it all. I've linked a ton of different cute pairs. I love the high tops and I love the like leather cool color versions too. I will try to leave pictures of everything on the screen as I talk to so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Next up, the Prada nylon crossbody is so cute, but it's $1,200 and I'm not spending $1,200 on a purse. So this Christmas, I'm really hoping to get a similar like knockoff version. Places like Boohoo and Shein and Forever 21 all have options that look super similar for like $20. I just really like the crossbody and I like that it has that little pouch on the top. I don't know. Super fun, very trendy. It's something I could totally use on the blog. Next up on my list is claw clips. I never thought that these would be back in style, but here we are. I love all things Jennifer Aniston, Friends, 90s inspired, and TikTok is making claw clips come back again. My hair is kind of the perfect length for it because I don't have super thick hair. Basically, you just twist your hair up and you put a little clip in like this. You let the front pieces hang out and you look really polished and professional. Love these and I linked a bunch of them. They're all under like 10 bucks. One of the gifts I actually had on my Christmas list this year was one of these Alexa plugins and I ended up getting one about a week ago from a family friend. They ended up purchasing an extra one and let me have it. So basically this is an Alexa plugin device. I have an Alexa in my bedroom and I absolutely love it. I use it for everything to listen to music, to set alarms, set reminders, just ask random questions, whatever. And when I'm at school, I typically keep my Alexa in my bedroom, but my desk where I get ready, where I do my homework, where I work is in our living room. And I want to be able to listen to music on a speaker from my living room and still be able to ask like questions and stuff. So basically one of these plug-in devices just goes into the wall like in my living room and my normal Alexa like is connected to it so I can still listen to music. I can still ask her questions just in a different room. And this way I don't have to spend $225 on a whole new device. So I love this idea if someone in your life already has an Alexa and just is looking into, you know, an extra speaker. Next up on the list is a gel polish machine. I got one for my birthday and I absolutely love it. If you are someone who spends a lot of money getting your nails done at the salon every two weeks, 
stop just get yourself an at-home machine and do it yourself it literally pays for itself within the first two uses I think my machine was under $50 I linked it in the blog post and I linked a bunch of other gorgeous um, nail polish colors as well so you guys can have a little more variety my nails typically last 10 to 20 days it just depends Sometimes if I'm washing my hands more, if I'm more active, they'll peel off faster, but I still usually have a really solid looking manicure for a week to a week and a half, which is awesome. And I literally like, I can't say enough good things about it. It is so worth the investment. And if you have a woman in your life, a girl who loves getting their nails done, loves that self care aspect, this is an awesome idea. A new planner is a never fail. I absolutely swear by my planner and I use a happy planner from Create365. I typically use the size large horizontal and I have been using this style planner for four years now. It's so awesome, my absolute favorite. I get questions from you guys all the time. They are the absolute best and you can never go wrong giving someone a planner for the new year. Along with the planner, I also have a bunch of like planner accessories that I love. I love getting stickers for holidays, birthdays, whatever it may be. My mom loves to give them for special occasions too. Um, Create365 also has like these sticker books. They're always on sale at Michael's for about like $15. They are so awesome. I love getting washi tape and then the Tombow um, calligraphy pens are so awesome. That is what I use like pretty much every day in my planner when I make my to-do list and when I'm taking notes. I always get questions from you guys on what those markers are called and I've linked a bunch of different sets in that blog post. Next up is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. This is another thing that I got for my birthday and I swear by. It basically dries and styles your hair all at once. It's like a big brush and you run it through your hair. It takes me about seven minutes to do my whole head. I have pretty thin hair and and I love this. I use it a lot right before I go to bed so that I'm not going to bed with wet hair because it doesn't take super long and it will give you just like that at home blowout Next look. idea is a ring light. I have this one right here and it is on the pricey side but I use it every single day. This is what I use to take my outfit of the day photos every single day. It is awesome. My roommates love borrowing it when taking selfies before going out. Anything like that. They also have mini ring lights available that are like this big and those are also great if you're someone who films a lot of TikToks, maybe you just want something small for taking selfies, cute photos in your room. If you're in a dorm room, I also recommend a mini ring light for um, putting on your makeup in the morning because I know the lighting kind of sucks in dorms. So great gift idea, especially if you have a YouTuber or a blogger in your life. Next on the list is a small initial necklace. I always get questions about the little necklace that I wear and it's from the Silver Heron, which is a Maryland local jewelry place they have an instagram at the silver heron and you can dm them and ask them if they still have this necklace they don't have a website so that's what i hate about me wearing this every day is because i can't really link it for you guys but i did link a bunch in the blog post as well from nordstrom and other places I have so many M necklaces that I've just filtered through throughout the years. I love wearing my initial and this is a great gift to get your girlfriend too. Maybe if you want to gift your own initial to your girlfriend so that she can always wear it, that's an awesome idea. A hydro flask you can truly never go wrong with. Very self-explanatory. I feel like everyone has one, especially if you're in college. They keep your drink cold all day long and they're super cute as well. White booties are an absolute must in my wardrobe this time of year. I've got a gazillion pairs of white booties because you know me and my love for white shoes. I've got pairs from Chinese Laundry, pairs from Shein, Steve Madden, you name it. If your girl doesn't have a pair, I highly recommend these, especially if she is in that high school to college age where she has a lot of sorority functions or is dressing up for like, I don't know, theme days. They're just a great versatile shoe. Mantra bands are another great idea. I always love receiving something with a scent sentimental quote on it. The first one that I ever got from my mom said dream, believe, achieve. And she said that this quote reminded her of me because that is the epitome of me. I think of something and I work towards it and I achieve it. And so she wanted me to wear that mantra daily. I have a few of them. I've worked with mantra band as well. They are so awesome. They're about $30, I think. And they just are so thoughtful and a piece that you can actually wear every day, whether you're dressing them up or down. Keurigs are an awesome idea. If you've got a coffee lover in your life, I know that there are a wide variety of styles out there, but the single cup is the most popular. They literally go on sale for like $50 around Black Friday at places like Target and Walmart. You really can't go wrong with those. 
Um, both my roommate last year and this year both had that style Keurig. My sister has one as well because she is a big hot chocolate drinker. These are awesome and they come in so many different colors. This is a great idea if you are shopping for someone who is going to be in college pretty soon or if they already are in college and don't have fake one. eyelashes. They are something that I love. I swear by. I wear them as much as possible but I absolutely hate buying them myself. I know many other people probably feel the same way like I don't want to spend five dollars on fake eyelashes. It makes me feel so guilty but they are something that I love receiving as a gift. My favorites are the Ardell Wispies number 105 and I love the clear lash glue as well. I linked those in the post and I know places like Ulta and Sephora will do like big lash kits around the holidays where you can try out a bunch of different styles. I always love receiving those as well. AirPods are an awesome idea. I got AirPods last year for Christmas and I use them quite literally every single day. These are especially awesome if you are a college student and you are studying in the library. Maybe you're in the same room as your roommate and you both have online classes. I've run into that issue quite a few times this year. I do not have the wireless charging case. Um, I, you have to like actually charge my charging case and I only charge it about once a week. It honestly stays fully charged for ages. I don't really think that you need to spend the extra money for the wireless charging case, but I know that there are a lot of people that prefer it that way just so they don't have to worry about any cords for getting it them going dead whatever but like I said I do use mine for about like six ish hours a day and it takes a long time for them to run out of battery so next on my list is an Alexa and I cannot stress enough how good of an idea an Alexa is I know some people don't want one but then once you get one you realize how much you actually use it like I said I use mine for literally everything and Connor's family got me my Alexa I want to say three years ago and I use it daily I have the really large one you guys see it in my videos a lot it is I believe it's called the echo show 2 it's about $225 it's definitely pricey but I love it it's an awesome speaker as well but my sister has like the mini echo show and I know Connor's family also has the echo dot there are a bunch of different Amazon Alexas out there and they literally run deals like almost every single day leading up to Christmas time. So all you have to do is just keep checking back. I linked all the styles in the blog post so that you guys can just constantly keep refreshing and keep your eye on the price. Next is an Apple Watch. I go through phases with my Apple Watch where I will use it every single day and then I'll forget about it for a few weeks. I'll come back and be like, oh my God, how did I ever forget about this? So many college kids have one. This is a great idea if you are in college or if you just need like a good techie gift that's actually not going to break the bank. I don't really think that you need the cellular on it. I have mine without it and I've never been like, ugh, I wish I had cellular. I don't really feel like you need it. You just get notifications on it. You can track your steps, track your sleep. All three of my roommates last year had one and they convinced me that I needed one and I loved it. It's especially great for walking around campus and seeing how much you're walking. And and there are a bunch of other like add-on gifts that you can get with that. You can get the dock, you can get the little charging thing, you can get extra watch bands, you can get a cool little like protective case cover thing. So an awesome idea. I have the Series 3 and I think it does everything that I would need my watch to do. I know that there's like a Series 6 now which what more could a watch possibly do for 300 more dollars? Procreate is another awesome idea. If you don't know what Procreate is, it's basically something you can download to your iPad. I don't know if you can download it to your phone or not, but basically it's just like an online painting app. A lot of my friends have it to doodle. I know a lot of YouTubers use it to create their thumbnails. And you also have to have it as a fashion merch major because it's how you draw your sketches and stuff when it's like online class like we have right now. So Procreate is subscription based, but I know a lot of people love it and I don't know, thought it'd be a fun idea to add to the list. A customizable computer case is so underrated. I literally get questions about this computer case every single day from people. And I created this on Case App, but I know places like Case Defy have them as well. This is literally just a skin, guys. Like, it's just a sticker on top of a clear laptop case. So I want to like stress that this does not protect your computer. It's just for show. So I literally just stuck it right on top of this clear case. 
I love these. I think it's a really cool idea for your girlfriend, you know, pictures of the two of you. It's also a great idea just, you know, for any girl in your life. I would just download pictures from their Instagram and import them that way. They also have options available for your phone and stuff too, which is just a really unique, creative, thoughtful gift. Slippers are the best Christmas gift idea. I have a few pairs from Ugg and they're definitely my favorite brand to get slippers from. They're on the pricier side, but I do believe that slippers are something you should invest in. I have the Fluffitas and then I forget the name of the other kind I have. I linked them in the post. Maybe the Fluff Yaz, but they have so many awesome pairs, so many colors as well. I definitely like the Fluffitas best because they have the kind of sole where you can wear them out and about. Sometimes I'll wear them if I'm just running over to a friend's house. If I, I don't know, I'm going to pick someone up from a party or something like that, I would wear those just out the house. I obviously don't wear them like walking around campus to go to class, but you can wear them for like errands and things like that and you can wear them in the house. They're awesome and super, super soft and comfy. These PJs, nobody has ever been disappointed to receive them. Old Navy and Target are my favorite places to find them. Old Navy is usually where my sister and I get our matching ones this time of year and I love the matching like two-piece sets, you know, like the collared ones. Those are my faves. Okay, card holder and phone wallet are two Christmas gift ideas. I'm keeping them separate for two different reasons. I feel like you're either one or the other when it comes to being a college girl. Some people like the phone wallet, which is literally just like a sticker that you stick on to the back of your phone and you can keep all your cards in there, your ID, whatever. Or you're someone like me and you like one of those like miniature wallets that's like literally this size and it's literally it's really only meant to fit a few cards. That's what I use because I don't like keeping my debit card like on my phone. I'm scared I'm going to lose it that way. So I carry around a little card holder attached to my keys into my lanyard. And I personally love that. I am really wanting a new one for Christmas this year. I linked a couple from Coach and from Kate Spade that were a really good deal right now. Just because, I don't know, I thought they were cute. Hair rollers. I don't know why, but TikTok is making me think that I need a pair of hair rollers. I have a pair of Velcro rollers from the dry bar and they're awesome, but I'm really interested to try out like the heated hair rollers, the hot rollers, you know? People say that they work wonders. I mean, I'm sure like curling your hair is probably easier, but I don't know, I thought it'd be a fun gift idea. A teeth whitening system is an awesome idea. I always get questions about how I keep my teeth white, which is so random, but I actually did a video collaboration with a company called Smile Brilliant. I wanna say almost four years ago. The video is still on my YouTube channel if you want to go watch it. And it literally made my teeth so white. I whitened them like maybe twice since then, and I've only done it for like an hour. I've whitened them, but this is an awesome idea. I know Nova Shine, people really love that, and that's like you just stick it in your mouth, you know? A lot of people like the crest whitening strips, but Smile Brilliant is the kit that I used. You basically like have to make a mold of like a retainer. You send it in, they send you a retainer back, and you like put the gel in, and you do it like every day for like two weeks, but... I swear my teeth have stayed so white since. Self tanner is another one of those things no one likes to buy for themselves but everyone wants. I personally have used a gazillion over the years. I love Jergens Wet Glow. I love the Mystic Tan self tanner. I also love the Melissa Weinberg. Tanologist is probably what I use the most. I know a lot of people love loving tan. You know, it's one of those things where it's just like, no girl's gonna be mad about receiving self tanner, throw in a mitt with it, and bam, you've got an idea that like, I know that as a guy, you may not think it's that creative, but like, they're gonna be excited about it. A weighted or heated blanket is an awesome idea. If your girl suffers severely from period cramps, you might wanna go the heated blanket route. I know a lot of girls really love those around that time of the month or honestly if they're just cold at night and like to relax I recommend going the throw blanket route rather than like the twin extra long king heating blanket heated blanket because most people don't keep them like in their bed you know um, and then a weighted blanket's another awesome idea as well. Make sure that you know how much the person you are shopping for weighs or at least in the ballpark because you are supposed to get a weighted blanket based off of the person's weight. Like don't just buy them a 20 pound weighted blanket because there's like a recommended weight that you're supposed to have depending on your own body weight. My sister's boyfriend and I always exchange gifts and we try to stick within the $20 price range and three years ago he got me my clothing rack that's in the other room. 
against my mom's will and it was the best gift I've ever received from him. It was an awesome gift. Honestly, like one of my favorite, most practical, useful things in my life is that clothing rack. It was like $20 off of Amazon and it has changed the game. If you've got a fashionista or a blogger in your life, I highly recommend grabbing them one. A subscription to Spotify or Apple Music. This is an awesome idea. I am literally too cheap to spend the like $3 a month it is for a Spotify premium on a student discount because I just don't want to spend the money, but I would love to have a Spotify membership, you know, like a subscription so that I didn't have to listen to ads when I'm like, you know, in the middle of really getting into it and then it's like 30 seconds, watch this video. Like no one wants an ad, so that's an awesome idea. Like I really recommend that one. So lip glosses are the most underrated lip product in the beauty industry. I absolutely love them. Like I swear by these things. I'm wearing one now. I wear one practically every single day. Ulta always comes out with sets of them and you can get like six of them for like $25, $30 or something. And they are so good. I love the mini versions, but they have like tall versions as well, like the full size. And those are about $20 a piece, but they are literally worth every penny. Like I, and I don't say that about a lot of high end makeup, but these, these are awesome. White Russian is my absolute favorite color. A self-defense keychain is a very, very random thing to be on this list, but it is an idea that I think is very practical. Um, my pepper spray broke the other day because I dropped it and it like got all discombobulated and my friend Sam was helping me put it back together and he said, Mackenzie, you should get a self-defense keychain. My sister has one and I think you should get one. And basically it's just like this thing that you could like stab someone with if you needed to. I mean, obviously like the time would have to be right. It's not something that anyone ever wants to think would happen to them. But emergencies and sticky situations do happen. It never hurts to be safe if you're getting them like a, the little like card holder in a lanyard or something. This would be like a really cute gift to like tack on to that gift. Pepper spray too. That's another idea, especially if they're going to college soon. Belts. I swear by belts. You guys always ask, how do I upgrade my wardrobe? The answer is always a belt. I have linked a bunch of them in this blog post from Shein and Romwe. I prefer a cheaper belt because I like to have multiple belts, but I know some people prefer something nicer, Tory Burch, Gucci, something like that. If that's more your vibe, then spend a grand. Who am I to judge? Perfume. Let's talk about it. I personally don't wear it. I'm not a perfume wearer. Never really have been just because, I don't know, I don't like the smell all day, but I know some people love it. Most people do actually, and if you don't know the person's favorite perfume, I don't recommend buying them a full size perfume. Maybe go and buy them like a sampler kit where there's like five or six mini ones and they can test them all out. And then maybe for a later birthday or a later Christmas together, you could buy them the full size of their favorite one. That's always a safe route. I know Connor's mom loves when people give her that gift idea, but if she has a favorite scent and she's running low, it never hurts to replenish it. Face masks are something I swear every girl gets for Christmas because they're awesome. Peter Thomas Ross is definitely my favorite brand of face masks. I love them. They are on the high-end side, but as far as drugstore goes, I love the little Yes 2 like small face masks, you know, like the little sheet ones. I've also done one of their butt cheek face masks. Don't knock it until you try it. They're really, really fun. They have those in the store and they're like little heart shapes. Those are just a cool like little gift to throw into a stocking or something. Beanies are another awesome idea. I love cute hats and my favorite brand is called CC. They are $15 on Amazon and I have one in black, red, navy, brown, white. Like I have every color of this hat. I freaking love it. My cousins are all hooked on them and I know so many bloggers rave about them. I also have a few favorites from Target and TJ Maxx as well. Ugg has really awesome ones if you're looking for a super warm like investment kind of hat but beanies are always a safe bet. Everyone loves activewear leggings for Christmas and most girls are asking for Lulu's because no one wants to buy Lululemon leggings for themselves. They are expensive. I did link some favorites in the blog post. I know a lot of people like the Aligns and a lot of people like the Wonder Unders. They also have a couple of pairs of joggers that I think are super, super cute. I'm not really one to spend $100 on my leggings just because I like to wear like a different pair almost every day. But if you are someone who is like trying to really narrow in on your wardrobe and you really do reach for the same like 15, 20 pieces on an everyday basis, Lulu's are gonna be so worth the investment for you. Black is always a safe color, but I know that the camo is really popular as well. A nice watch. I cannot stress enough how good of an idea this is. I have a fossil watch and I absolutely love it. I have worn the same watch every day for probably three years now. 
I got it for Christmas and I loved it. Before that, I had a watch from Kate Spade. I loved that watch to death. I got it for my confirmation my freshman year of high school, but I actually cracked the face of it. So I had to get a new one, but a nice gold watch, like, or if they like silver, you know, get them silver. But those are all great ideas if they're not an Apple Watch kind of person and they're someone a little more polished, a little trendier, like more fashion forward, then a nice watch is something that they would love and carry with them for ages. No girl is ever disappointed about receiving a new makeup palette. I absolutely love Morphe eyeshadows. They are my favorite. I don't wear eyeshadow too, too much, but I love receiving a new palette for Christmas and it's something that my aunt used to give me every single year. I love the Anastasia contour kits and I love their glow kits as well, the highlighter kits. So if you're looking to maybe get a palette but not eyeshadow, those are other awesome options that I reach for on a daily basis. Presets are another awesome idea. If you don't know what a preset is, it's basically a filter that you can add to your Instagram photo or the photo could go literally anywhere. But a lot of girls that are in the blogging world, maybe they're in college, even high schoolers like love using presets on their photos just to create a cohesive theme. It makes you look a little tanner, your teeth a little whiter. I personally love the Tezza app. You can buy like extra filters within her app, but I know people like Aspen Ovard and Cardigans and Lattes on Instagram all have their own presets. Tons of influencers sell their presets. If you know your girl has a favorite influencer, I don't know, check out their new presets. I feel like that's a really unique gift that they would probably use more than you think. So all of those gift ideas were awesome things to get your girlfriend like she would not be mad to receive any of those But now I'm like moving into more like girlfriend specific kind of things And my first idea is a streaming service subscription whether it be Netflix Hulu Disney plus That's something that you guys can do together like you can watch those shows together Maybe pick your favorite or one she doesn't already have again like I wish I had Hulu, but I don't want to pay for it. Like, I wish I had Disney Plus. We have Netflix as a family, but getting your girlfriend, like, a subscription to one of them, I feel like that's a unique idea. I asked tons of you guys on Instagram to let me know what your favorite gift you've ever received from a significant other was, and almost always the answer was thoughtful jewelry, whether it be something engraved or with your date on it, maybe their initial. Just almost everyone said thoughtful jewelry, so boys take notes a necklace earrings a ring like you really can't go wrong there are so many awesome jewelry companies out there Kendra Scott is definitely my favorite company to go to if you want something that's not super personalized like if you wanted a pair of earrings like this that she can wear forever then I would go that route but if you want something that's more coupley I would definitely like type into the search bar engraved necklace or engraved bracelet and tons of different options will come up for this rings were another super popular answer I always get questions about the gold ones that I wear on an everyday basis. They are from Ana Luisa. My sister's gotten multiple rings from Pandora from her boyfriend over the years, and she wears them literally every single day. A lot of people said that this is the time of year where they got engaged to, and they were like, my engagement ring was my favorite gift. Obviously, that's a big step, and it's not me saying, oh, get your girlfriend an engagement ring for Christmas, but rings were the most popular piece of jewelry that I got a response on. To my surprise, a lot of women said they love receiving lingerie and a bottle of wine or their favorite alcohol as well. They were like, I know that this is a little sexier. It's more of like a risque kind of personal gift between the two of you. You're obviously not going to go and say, hey mom, guess what this boy got me today? But it was a very popular answer on both sides. A lot of guys said that they've given girlfriends this and a lot of girls said they liked to receive it. I know a lot of people like Shein lingerie as weird as that sounds because it's super super cheap so you can get a bunch of different styles for like nothing. I linked some ones that I thought were really cute. You can't go wrong with a photo of the two of you. It's thoughtful, it's cutesy, and if it's in a nice frame they can keep it by their bedside or displayed in their apartment, whatever it may be. You really can never go wrong with it guys. I know that it's really cheesy but it's a really good boyfriend girlfriend gift that never fails. A photo keychain is another really cute idea. Again, something that could go along with the card holder, maybe the self-defense keychain. Like if you're trying to make like a big gift out of it, I feel like the photo keychain is something super cute. I've seen a lot of cute styles on TikTok. I've seen like the little like film rolls where you like unroll it and there's 15 photos. I've seen like the little 
like song where they put your picture in it you guys know what i'm talking about if you watch tiktok i'll try to incorporate a picture here but super cute idea that they can keep with them everywhere they go aside from thoughtful jewelry something homemade was the most requested gift from a significant other from you guys through my instagram polls which didn't really surprise me i mean it's really the thought that counts guys and so boys if you're watching this and you're looking for an idea that's really going to sweep her off her feet put some thought into it go and print out some of your favorite pictures buy a little scrapbook put down the pictures of you guys and write little captions or write your favorite memory from that day if you kept any movie stubs or receipts or old corsages from school dances anything like that a cute little memory box or incorporating those things like into a little mini scrapbook is a really really sweet idea a mani pedi is another really great idea i love getting my nails done but it's something i hate paying for it's always a treat to go and get your nails done find out what your girl's favorite salon is and you know get her a little gift certificate send her on her way last but not least was a gift idea from gino himself um if you guys have watched my vlogs you know how much i love gino him and his girlfriend are long distance and he said that open when letters were a very good idea this idea kind of only applies if you're long distance but I'm sure you've seen these on Pinterest basically it's just a box and there are a bunch of different letters in it and you're supposed to open on different occasions one may say open when you're sad open when it's your first game open on your first day of school open when you're missing me open when you're super happy a lot of different occasions you can get really creative with this and I don't know there's something really cute and sappy about something like handwritten you can never go wrong with a letter so yeah alrighty guys that is going to be all for all 50 I don't even I keep going like this because is this 50 or is this 50 I can't really tell um, but that's going to be it for my 50 gift ideas for the girls slash girlfriends I hope you guys enjoyed and that this post gave you some inspiration like I said, I will have that blog post linked down below and there are hundreds of links in it. So go check it out. I always appreciate if you guys shop through my links. And yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the 50 boys gifts coming tomorrow. Love you guys and I'll talk to you then.